welcome new members of the mechanical team. Since you are the mechanical team, you will be doing the majority of your robotics experience in the shop, and there are some safety things that we need to go over before you can get started with those machines. Let's begin. So we're going to start off with some general safety rules, and to do that, we'll begin a scenario. Take a look. So let's stop this scenario right here. First off, we notice that our glasses are on our head, not our eyes. You must always have your safety glasses covering your face. Secondly, her hair is not tied back, either in a braid or a hair tie. You must always tie your hair back to prevent it from getting caught in machinery and torn off. Continuing on with general safety, let's take a look at this scenario as well. Right away we notice several problems, one of which being his baggy clothing. Never wear baggy clothing in the shop, as this might get caught in the machines and torn off. Let's move on to how to safely operate the bandsaw. First off, one of the things to keep in mind when operating the bandsaw is to bring the fence close to the metal before you cut. This will help prevent kickbacks and keep the blade intact. Secondly, there is a light that is attached to the side of the bandsaw. You may turn this on to help you see and make your line straighter. Also to keep your line straighter, use the slider. Do not force metal through the bandsaw, as this can also force it to kick back and damage the bandsaw. To safely turn on the machine, you have to have the safety key inserted to the switch on the left side of the machine. After cutting, the metal may be hot from all the friction caused by the bandsaw. Make sure to keep your hands away from this for a few seconds to let it cool down. If you are cutting smaller pieces, use the push stick. This will keep your hands away from the bandsaw and maybe keep a few digits on your fingers. Let's move on now to a new scenario involving the grinder. Take a look at what's wrong here. For one, this person is not wearing a face mask while they're operating the grinder. Another thing, they're using aluminum, which you should never do. As I just said, you should always wear a face mask when operating the grinder in case sparks go flying and you don't want to get burned. Also, you should never use aluminum as that will break the grinder. When you turn off the grinder, wait for the wheels to stop rotating before walking away. Stand next to them and wait for them to come to a complete halt before you leave. Moving on now to the belt sander, it is important that when you turn it on, you face the rotating sander part and the switch. This will avoid scraping your hand against the rotating sander part if you attempt to reach around. When you are operating, use both hands, one on the rear of the piece of the metal and the other one balancing it towards the front. Make sure to keep your hands away from the sander or it will tear off your skin. The metal may be hot once you are finished, so avoid touching it for a few seconds and let it cool down. Let's move on now to the drill press. When operating the drill press, make sure that the drill bit is fully tightened. You can do this by making sure that the key does not turn anymore. To safely begin drilling your metal, first off, clamp down the vise to the table using the two C-clamps that can be found next to the drill press. Then, once that is done and you have made absolutely sure that when you drill, the drill bit will not cut into the vise, you may then clamp down the metal into the vise itself. While you are drilling, make several passes through the hole that you have created in the metal that you are drilling to make sure that you have done it correctly and that there are no bits. Finally, let's move on to the horizontal bandsaw. This is the exact same as the bandsaw, except turned on its side. Do not force the bandsaw down into the piece of metal that you are cutting, but instead let gravity do most of the work. Once again, the metal may be hot after cutting, so leave it, let it sit for a few seconds and don't touch it. Thank you for watching this short safety presentation, and I hope to see you out in the shop this year. Take care.